Okay, Flash is now started. Oh, I have a whole video. City, the city of sleeping statues and whispering darkness. The city that drove him mad and made him end up in a mental institute 110 years ago. This is insane. It can't be real. But this is my chance to find out if it is. I can't turn back now. I have to solve the mystery of Heatherdale. Alright. We're solving the mystery of Heatherdale. Did you hear that, everyone? I'm going to turn the volume down now. <coughs> Hopefully that was audible enough. Sorry if you heard my thermometer beeping during that. Feeling a little bit congested today. The thing is I don't have time to wait. I have to record because December's almost over, which means I won't be able to record any Flash games anymore ever again. So I'm trying to just go through it. I hope I just have allergies. I hope it's not anything worse. But I was checking my temperature and using a pulse oximeter. Did you say pulse oximeter or pulse oximeter? The description says, is the legendary city of Heatherdale real, or only a fairy tale made up by an 18th century madman? What dark mysteries does it hold? Find out as you play Dr. Heather Montrose, a young scholar destined to uncover the secrets of Heatherdale. Oh, that's sad. The game news says, um, integrated API with four badges waiting for badge approval. This game has no badges! I guess the uh, Congregate decided to never, never approve their requests. Start a new game, sure. So here I am. <clears throat> Dr. Heather Montrese. What is it? Montrose. <laughs> what is this? Drop an item from the inventory here to examine it. Oh, look at me walking around. Luggage. I took out a hairpin, my makeup kit, and a towel. I'll come back for the rest later. I need to get to the camp as soon as possible. Alright. Can I, like, go over here, or...? No. Will you let me... Can I go up here? Can I go up here? No, apparently not. Yeah, I want to go back. Back. No. I don't know, it's weird because it's like three-dimensional, almost, but then not. Like, I feel like I should be able to walk into this space if I can walk into the other ones. And I should be able to walk like here. But I guess not. Alright, well. I'll get used to it. Can I use arrow keys? No, I have to click. Are there like little things I should be looking out for? It's a canopy, stretched out by the side of the shed. It's nailed tight to the shed and pegged to the ground. I can't remove it by hand. What is this? Is this something? It's like blue. Like a random blue object. I have to get to the camp as soon as possible. Where the hell is- Where, pray tell, is the camp? Oh, what is that? The tire tracks. Looks like a pair of tire tracks. Someone was driving a car here. That's good news, I think. Dark jungle path. It's a dark path that leads to the jungle. I can try and see if I can find the camp going this way, but it's pitch black in there. Well, I gotta get past this huge tree. The storm must have torn this tree down. It's blocking the road. I can't get across it. I'm sure you could if you tried. You could go under it. I mean, you can't climb this. Just go boop, boop, ba doop. All right. I have a towel, a makeup kit, and a hairpin. Well, at least it looks like when you hover over something you're supposed to be able to interact with, it will say a name. Can I get into the shed? It's a small shed. There's a lock on it. They probably store tools and other stuff in there. Hmm. I wonder who they are. Maybe use the hairpin to do- yes! 
There was a claw hammer and a flare inside. There's nothing else I can use in there. Well, be creative. You're not gonna take it with you though? I'm just gonna like leave it? You may hear my cat howling in the background. Just ignore him. He's got problems. Canopy. Maybe I can use the hammer to remove the canopy. It was a rope ladder and a wheel clock. Wheel chalk? What the hell is a wheel chalk? Underneath the canopy. I also took the nails. And I took the canopy. Little world. Whoa. Whoa. I evaporate when I click this. I go <laughs> I go way over to the side. Alright, I guess I got everything I needed. I have nails, a canopy, a ladder, a chalk. I could probably use the flare maybe to go in the dark jungle path, but I can use the ladder to go here maybe. Or not. Maybe this wheel chalk. No. Can I use the flare to go in the dark jungle path? I set the place on fire? Oh. <laughs> I thought I did that. I was like, excuse me. It's a huge- this huge tree trunk seems to have been hit by lightning just recently. It's churning fiery hot despite the rain. It'll be a while before the rain puts it out. Could I put it out with a canopy? I used the wet canopy to cover the embers. Now we can get across safely. Statue? I gotta look at that statue. I didn't see that statue. It's holding a spear. Alright, that's the airstrip, yeah. What? Already exploded. Already explored jungle path. It is a uh, jungle path already exploded, so no need to bother going here. I suppose I'll go up here. And I didn't already explore it. I can get across. It's the roots of the tree that fell down after getting hit by lightning. There's no way I can climb across here. Even with a rope ladder? I'd better leave these roots alone and find a way across the rift. Even with a chalk? Okay. A spike-shaped rock. It's a spiked rock on the other side of the rift. Maybe I can anchor something to it. Like a rope ladder? Good idea, but I can't aim the ladder very good because it's too light. I need a weight on one end. Hammer? Okay. Well, I guess I gotta find a rock. Oh, no. I can use the chalk, which rhymes with rock. I tied the chalk to one end of the rope ladder. That has pretty decent anchorage. I threw the ladder across the rift. It got stuck on the other side thanks to the chalk. Can I go now? I hope the background music is audible. I didn't want- when did I say go there? I didn't- I never said go there. Why am I going? Where am I going? She's walking on her own. Where were you going? I didn't click to go down the stairs. I want to go up the stairs. Oh, who is that? Oh, Caro. Miss Montrese! Over here! Dear God, you startled me. <laughs> who are you, sir? My name's James Caro! I'm working on the dig with Professor Harback! So, this is Dr. Harback's camp. Yes, but we can talk about that later. Right now you need to come inside. I'll tell you everything tomorrow. Come! I don't know if I want to, this strange man. Do I trust this strange person? Day one. Can I take this guitar? I took one of the strings, the thick E string. It had two more missing anyway. Now it has three. Can I pick- you're gonna have this rock right here and not let me pick it up? Rather large drumstick. Oh, I don't need it. Hello there, Mr. Caro. Miss Montrose. Thanks for the shelter last night. It was really coming down. No problem. I hope you liked your tent. Yes, thank you. The professor mentioned you'd be arriving soon, but I didn't think it'd be in the middle of the night. I was fortunate to be able to rent a plane. It was very hard, mind you, and expensive. Plus, the pilot seemed reluctant to fly me here. He kept going on about this place being cursed, which is absurd, of course. Actually, the, actually, 
the closer we get to the ruins, the creepier it seems to me. What was, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I stutter. Look, I don't want to freak you out, so never mind. I'll let you make up your own mind. Well, not very reassuring, but okay. So, where's Professor? What's been going on here? I'm really anxious to see the city. We got here two weeks ago. Professor Harbach and Mr. Ashcroft, I'll tell you about him later, flew in just like you did. I drove a tub car with Burke so we could move around more easily between the camp and the closest settlement, bringing supplies and whatnot. Uh, but the car broke down yesterday at the dig. The Germans still have a long way to go when it comes to making cars. Who's Burke? He's a hunter and a demolitions expert. I usually work with him on most jobs whenever I can, but three days ago he got stung by some local plant and he's pretty much been unconscious since then. I plan to drive out to Shenzhen later for some medicine after fixing the car. <laughs> I hope he'll get better. If he doesn't, we can't use the explosives. Why is that? A couple of days ago he lost one of his grenades. He got so mad that he locked the rest of them in a crate and refused to tell us the combination to its log. And this Ashcroft person you mentioned? He's a royal pain in the ass. Uh, pardon my language. Uptight, snobby, and not very personable. I don't know why Professor Harbuck puts up with him. I guess it's because of his money. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be here. Anyway, as soon as we arrived, Dr. Harbuck and Ashcroft started snooping around immediately. I'm just a hired hand here, so I do what I can to help them. Carrying stuff, minding the camp, and so on. To be honest, much of what they talk about makes little sense to me. I don't believe in any of this supernatural nonsense. So where are they? They found some old furnaces and they set up camp right next to them. They took the car, but as I said, it broke down, so you'll have to walk. It's a couple miles north of here. Thank you. I'll go find them. Have a nice day. You too, Miss Montrose. Oh, I'll get your luggage from the airstrip as soon as possible. Thanks. What else can I have? Oh, clothesline. Let me take this clothesline. Can I take it? I'll have to come back for that later. Or you could take it now. Just punch this dude to sleep and then steal stuff. He's been like that for three days now. How did it happen? He wandered off towards the west, looking for some pipe weed. I found him the same evening near the river, semi-conscious and with a huge red spot on his arm. He was mumbling incoherently about a village and some locals, which is weird because within a 30 mile radius there's no one here but us. The next settlement is Shinsunu. The next settlement is Shinsunu to the south. He's ill. I should try to help him if I can. Perhaps we can find a way. Explosive. I don't know the combination to the lock. Hand grenades. A crate full of grenades. It's nailed shut. Maybe I can take it with a hammer? The nails are too small. I can't pull them out. Well... Leaf? Why can I click on this random leaf? My point-and-click adventure game senses are tingling. That's strange. Oh, a telegram. It reads the Nazis... No, Nazis. It reads, the Nazis annexed Austria yesterday. There is hope. Fuller. Yeah, that came in yesterday. <laughs> he's, he's yelling from 10 feet away in his little tent, so. Yeah, that came in yesterday. I'm sure Ashcroft will be happy to hear that. His buddy keeps sending news every other day. And not that any of it makes any difference here. Why should the occupation of Austria make him happy? The only reason he's not a Nazi is that he wasn't born in Germany. Anyway, if you show him that, he'll like you for sure. For about five minutes, then he'll find a reason to dislike you. Ew. I gotta play a game with Nazis in it? I don't like those bitches. It's a small portable microscope. But I guess a lot of adventurers throughout history have been not very moral people. I mean, so much exploration and, you know, people who, like, set up camps and, like, islands in the middle of nowhere and try and discover things or whatever. They're not actually discovering things. It's in the name of, like, colonialism and stuff. And half of them are, like, racist <laughs> freaks. So I guess it's not unusual for someone with Nazi sympathies to be part of, like, an exploration expedition. I'll kill him if I can. 
I don't know if this is a game with options like that, though. It's a steel rod. It's wedged firmly between <laughs> between two rocks. Look, I'm sight reading. Leave me alone. Well, I could blow it up. <laughs> I managed to loosen the rod with the claw hammer. After that, it came out easy. This painting, huh? this painting has two figures on it. The large one has ceremonial painting on its face. It has a shell on his belt and a red feather in its helmet. It's holding a spear in its hand. The other one is just a stick figure. It seems to be beating a drum. <coughs> okay. What's that? Oh, the fresco. Jungle. Shorter plank. I got a hold of the shorter plank. I can't carry it around, but I can use it on something. I don't want to throw that into the ditch. Well, maybe the rod? I don't know. I don't think there's anything I can use this with right now. So I probably need to make a pat. Oh, plank. It's a large pank. Pank. <laughs> it's a large pank, guys. It's a large plank. Carol must have used it for something. Maybe to build a bridge. Use the shorter plank on the bigger plank, and then use some nails on it. Extended log. Do I need a hammer? I use the nails and the hammer to extend the large plank with the small one. Now it's long enough to reach across the ditch. It's a deep ditch. I can't jump across it. I can see a bunch of broken wooden planks at the bottom. I guess Caro had built a bridge here, which was washed away by the storm last night. Now the ditch is almost completely dry. Alright, is that everything from here? I suppose I'll walk across then. Here I go! Wall. It's twice as high as me. I can't climb it and there's nothing to grab a hold of. Thrick shubbery. The thrick shubbery. It's dense and thick. I don't want to poke around it now, let's have a reason. You could poke it with a steel rod. Let's not hide that in the bushes. Alright, well. Maybe I could blow up the wall? Could I use the grenade to blow up the wall? Walk to jungle. Oh, let me get this winch chain. I don't even know what I need that for, but I need it. It's a car! Interesting observation. Alright, well here's some people. I better talk to the professor first. Alright, then do so. Oh, engine oil, I should take that. Inscription. It's an old wall with an inscription on it. The part I can make out reads, I do not want to go back. The things I have seen are horrible beyond belief. I don't even trust my bow anymore. Thank God from this day on the other side is guarded- What? Thank God from this day on the other side is guarded by the shaman sleeping underwater. This must have been written by Dunmore himself. Who is that? Oh yeah, that guy? Or maybe not. I don't know. Miss Montrose! Miss Montrose, I'm glad you made it. <laughs> I'm gonna make every old man in this video <laughs> sound not like an old man. Yes, me too. That flight will give me nightmares for a while. <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor. It's good to finally meet you, but you must understand the circumstances in which we do are more than peculiar. If you hadn't sent that large envelope with all your photographs and research material, I would have taken you for a con man. But, Miss Montrose, I'm a well-respected archaeologist and scholar. Yes, I know that now, after confirming your existence and sanity with your colleague at Cambridge. Again, Miss Montrose? I'm sorry, Professor, but put yourself in my shoes. What would you do after receiving a package that claims the imaginary city of your favourite poet exists, and an invitation, no, a request to fly to Africa immediately? Well... Yes? Well, <laughs> I... Uh, see, not an easy question. I must admit, amidst my excitement, I failed to consider the implications of my request, and I do apologize for the inconvenience. If in the end it turns out to be worth it, consider everything forgiven. Plus, now that I'm here, I confess I'm very excited about all this. I'm glad! We'll need your expertise to find the lost city of Lord Dunmore. The papers you published on him were invaluable during my research. Without them, we might still be in England. How can I help? To be honest, we've reached a dead end. 
We managed to find ruins of some houses a few miles back down the road. You might have seen them on the shores of that deep ditch. The people who lived there must have been craftsmen, but it's all grown in. The foliage too thick to do any real work there. We're waiting for Mr. Burke to get better so he and Mr. Caro can cut through the shrubbery. <coughs> so we moved up here to the riverbank after we found the remains of these two furnaces. Mr. Ashcroft and I set up camp here so we can work faster. What prompted me to beckon you over here to Africa was the inscription we found on the wall of the other furnace. It seems to be in English and written by the hand of Lord Dunmore. This was actually the first thing- this was actually the first thing we found. Well, to be honest, it wasn't us who found it. It was a local hunter who brought some meat down to the market at Shansu's- God damn it, I still can't say that fast. <laughs> Shansuru! Shansunu! I like doing sight reading okay, and then I get to that word and- <laughs> <laughs> Just stop. To be honest, it wasn't us who found it. It was a local hunter who brought some meat down to the market at Shinsunu. It was by sheer luck that the information was relayed to me. He was just going on about some cursed marks on the wall. That's what started this whole expedition. I remember those from your photos. Unbelievable. I'll go check it out immediately. I must admit, my literary knowledge is far inferior compared to yours. I tried to make sense of it, but this is precisely the thing you excel at. Interpreting the mind of this crazy, sorry, mentally challenged individual. I hope you can move us forward. This will be an exceptional find. All right, Professor. I'll do what I can. I am also eager to solve the mystery of the city. Miss Montrose, one more thing. Although being a man of science and total disbeliever in all that is supernatural, I must urge you to keep your eyes open and watch your step. What exactly do you mean? Has something happened? Uh, aside from Mr. Burke getting ill, nothing specific. Although one might look upon Mr. Burke's condition as a sign, I choose to see it as pure bad luck. But there's something about this place. Mr. Ashcroft and I disagree on a lot of things, but I concur with him on this point. This place is special. Good special or bad special? Sorry, dear. That's all I can say without discrediting myself as a rational scholar. I guess I'll have to settle for this. I'll check that inscription. Thank you, dear. Let me know if you figure something out. I already checked it! I checked it out. What do you want? Professor, is there anything else you can tell me about the city? Well, we can't find the entrance to it. <laughs> That's about it. As a person, I wouldn't recommend this, but as an archaeologist doing his job, I'd say you should talk to Mr. Ashcroft over there. Maybe he'll be able to help you. Thank you, Professor. Is this man Mr. Ashcroft? Hello there. Good morning! You must be Dr. Montrose! Nice to meet you. And you must be Mr. Ashcroft. Doctor, if I may ask? Uh, sure. Doctor. The professor seems to be enjoying giving me the discourtesy whenever he can by addressing me improperly. The others choose to follow his lead. I meant no disrespect. Don't worry, dear. I'm sure you'll make up for it somehow. I'm sure. So, Doctor, the professor tells me that you're kind of stuck and need my help to get moving again. Yes, we are. And it pains me greatly to have to rely on you people to finally get where I- Where we want to be. As far as I know, it was us people that got you here in the first place, Professor Harbach, in my publications. Yes, I should say very exciting, uh, but I won't, because it was my money that got you here. Doctor, why are you here? You don't seem to care about the research, yet I assume you went through a lot of trouble to get here. Indeed! My interests are less of a scientific nature and more of a... Let's say, sociological. <laughs> I don't know why I'm reading him this way. What's that supposed to mean? Never you mind. But as long as you're here, you might as well make yourself useful. Though I can't say that I share the professor's faith in you. It's one thing to flip through a few pages of poems, and another to discover something truly brilliant. This is not Oxford. This is Heatherdale. You'll find that out before long. I already did. At Oxford, I'm usually treated with respect. Respect is earned, not given away, and you've yet to earn mine. I'll let you get back to your work. 
Okay, so what do I do now? I talk to everybody. I'll just leave him to his work. Alright, girls. Can I examine the water at all? No. I guess I'll walk to the jungle! To the jungle vein. Also, I am still going to be a lot more um, liberal with my use of walkthroughs because I... Let's see. It is Monday, December 28th! Which means I have like two more days to record things, so I don't have the time. What? I picked up a shell? So I can't get through this thrick sh thr I always want to say thrick shrubbery, and I don't know why. Can I blow up this wall? I mean, that's bad to do at an archaeological site, but like... That won't help me climb the wall. You're right. You're right, Heather. Winch chain. I don't even know what that is. Will that? Can I... Like, throw it over and climb up it? Well, girl, I don't know. Steel rod. You can pull vault. <laughs> vault up the wall. Uh, the thing is, I do not know what to do next. I'll go across here. Is there anything else I need to collect? Maybe I can talk to this guy again? I should leave him to his business. What if I give him a drumstick? <laughs> It'll take a lot more than that to heal him. What if I just beat his head in? That'll wake him up. I don't know what a winch chain is, is my problem. Microscope. Can I use the microscope on the shell? I don't want to magnify that. Why not? Alright, I'm gonna open a walkthrough just because I feel like it. All it did was take me to bubblebox.com. What the hell? Oh, hell yeah. I wanna play Party Tunes. Duck Life? Another Duck Life game? I forgot about Duck Life. I used to play that. I'll just look it up. Everdale. E string from guitar, drumstick from the cauldron, blah, 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 blah. Give the telegram to Ashcroft. Aha! Right. That's what I was not doing. That man did say give a telegram to that guy, but I just was not... I wasn't paying attention. Hello, ding-dongs. Here's the telegram. Doctor, Mr. Caro said you might be interested in this telegram. Mm, let me see. Uh, Germany. Mm -hmm. Oh! This is excellent news. The Germans have finally made up their mind. I knew that under the leadership of Hitler, they'll aspire to something greater. See, Professor, this is what distinguishes Germans from our over-civilized Anglo-Saxon race. They simply take what they want. Oh, forgive me if I don't share your enthusiasm. The only reason you have the guts to say this is that we're in the middle of the jungle. At home, you'd be arrested for treason. What do you think, Miss Montrose? I think this has nothing to do with why we're here. You're right! We're here to find the city of Heatherdale! And to do that, I need your help. I need an axe from the camp. Would you be so kind to give me one? When you're there, ask Mr. Caro. I've drawn a map! But I don't need it anymore. So here you go. Look it over, see if you can find anything we might have missed. I won't deny the importance of a fresh set of eyes. The sooner this conversation ends, the better. I'll leave it to your work, Doctor. And thank you for the map. I've got a wee map now! Oh! I can fast travel. Well, color me intrigued. Mr. Caro. Yes, Miss Montrose? Dr. Ashcroft needs an axe for something. He sent me to get it for him. Sure thing! Here you go. Thank you. Alright, I've got an axe now. I can kill people. Those bitches have left. Ooh, chisels. Interesting. I picked them up. Broken crossbow. Interesting. It's probably from the dig. I should ask the professor first so I can take it. I need to give him his axe. I don't want to talk to him unless I really need to. 
or unless I have that axe he asked for. Well, you do. You do have it. Here you go. Dr. Ashcroft, here's the axe you asked for. Miss, can't you see I'm busy here? We've uncovered some new items that might bring us closer to the city. Uh, keep your axe and leave me to my work. Okay, more axe for me then. What was his voice again? I forget. Oh yeah. Dr. Montrose, take a look at this! What is it, Professor? We have uncovered items that used to belong to Lord Dunmore. It seems he had more than one camp. Yes. In his poems, he only mentions the one next to the temple. That's where he used to see his deceased lover, right? Well, I'm not sure if he saw her, but he certainly thought he did. These visions produce some truly amazing poetry. What about the items? An almost totally decomposed bunch of papers, which I dare not touch for fear of disintegrating them with the slightest touch. We also found a compass and a crossbow. We'll take a look at the compass with Ashcroft, then I'll come up with a way to remove the papers. But you can take the crossbow, it has no real value. You can get a similar one at any antique weapons dealer. It was a fairly common model at the time. Thank you, Professor. The Professor said it's worthless, so he won't mind if I take it. I don't want to bother him. Alright! What's the next step? I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna do the walk through the whole way. What is I- what I'm trying to do, I just want to show the story. I just want to document a Flash game, okay? I don't actually care if I do everything myself. The point is just showing the game. I wedge the chisels between the cracks in the wall. I think I can climb it now. Well, here I am, girls. Ooh, a stump. The stump of the tree trunk make a V shape. It looks like I uprooted them. You stole flowers. There's like a dog outside in the hallway going crazy. Oh, I can just walk across. It's an artificial dam made from huge bricks. There's a dry riverbed stretching towards the south. The river is wide. It's flowing towards the east. This might be the same river I saw at the furnaces where Professor is working. There is an artificial dam that prevents it from flowing to the south. Use hand grenade on the river? Oh my goodness, hand grenade on the river. I gotta blow up the river. There you go. Okay, that was careless, I admit, and I should have been standing a lot further away. But the river is now flowing towards the south. The eastern riverbed has revealed three underwater tombs. I want to see the stream. It's not too deep, but my boots are not watertight, and I'm not going into the water without watertight boots. Let me take this loose brick. I could probably just lodge this brick with something. That's a good idea. I'll need something long and strong and thin to move that brick, but I don't want to waste it. I could use it as a weight. Well, girl, I don't know. That won't help me move that brick. A drumstick? No, apparently not. An axe? I don't know, you don't have anything long, strong, and thin. Except for your arms. This tombstone is made of rock. There's a hook on it. Tombstone with chain attached. I have attached the chain to the hook and the tombstone. I pulled on the chain, but the tombstone won't budge. Alright, let me look at what to do. Tied the end of the chain to the loose brick. Pour the motor oil around the tombstone's edge. I do this. I dislodged the brick. It fell down into the river and pulled the tombstone open. Open grave. There was an obsidian necklace, a ceremonial spear, and a ceremonial plume inside. Aside from the corpse, of course. Hmm. I feel weird about desecrating graves. Yeah, I've done enough grave robbery for today. 
You are correct. I think it is strange to go rob graves. The blue dust on the plume seems to be pollen. I think I saw some bushes with blue flowers near the furnaces. Where the hell are the furnaces? That's here? Nope, things have changed. I am using the walkthrough, but like only referencing it when I come to a next step, so otherwise I'm kind of just doing my own thing. <laughs> Hence why I still seem like I don't know what I'm doing. Miss Montrose! Where were you? Did you hear that explosion? What happened? It's alright, Professor. It was just me. I changed the direction of the river. It seems that Dunmore experienced more than just visions. What do you mean? I found graves in the riverbed. That means someone was actually living here. Which in return means that Lord Dunmore might have actually met some of the natives. I think they were the ones that dug those graves. Underwater burial is very difficult. A simple dead man would not receive such attention. That's for sure. A simple dead man also rarely has obsidian necklaces. You mean you opened them? Uh, just one of them. Was that a mistake? Archaeology is a delicate matter. You should have come straight to me. I didn't want to bother you until I was sure. It's alright, but next time see me first. So? You found an obsidian necklace. What else? This spear and an ornamental plume that has some blue dust on it. Let me see those. Hmm. The necklace is unique. I've never seen anything like it before. The spear has beautiful ornaments. And the plume... It looks like they chose the feathers of the plume very carefully produce, to, to produce this pattern. I think the man these items belong to must have been a respected person among his people. A king or priest of some sort. Uh, perhaps a shaman. That concurs with the inscription of Dunmore at the furnaces. I think he might have witnessed the funeral and wrote that two-liner right there and then at this camp. So he actually met these people. Amazing. You were right. I would have never imagined. He was actually here. It sheds a new light on everything. What do you mean by that? Well, it just struck me that Dunmore wrote some pretty spooky stuff about the natives. The Shades, as he called them. Until now, I thought that all came from the depths of his mind. But now that we have proof that he was here, a proof we didn't have until now, it makes me wonder what else might be real and not fictional. How spooky! Have you read Poe? Some. Well, spookier than that. Oh. He was saying, how spooky, question mark. I read that wrong. Whoops. He meant to go, how spooky? Well, spookier than that. Oh. Right. Now imagine that some of that stuff is real, and it might be nearby. Oh dear. I never thought about it that way. Again, your expertise provides fresh insight into this matter. Uh, thank you, Dr. Montrose. Say, would you mind taking these artifacts down to the camp for me? I have something to discuss with Mr. Ashcroft. Sure, Professor. I can use my map and fast travel. Where do I put them once I get to the camp? Go to camp, camp, dig. Oh, I was supposed to talk to Arshcroft. Here you, Dumbo. Some explosion there. I found some graves that prove that Dunmore was actually here. We already knew that. No, we didn't. We suspected it. Well, I was sure. Or rather, I had faith in it, as I'm starting to have faith in you. <laughs> Since you arrived, things seem to be progressing at quite a pace. I want your respect, and you give me faith. What a deal. When you get older, you'll find that faith will get you a lot further than respect. Well, when I get older, I'll let you know how that went for me. I forgot that I should cut this down, says the tutorial. Up oh, staircase. There was a secret staircase behind the bush. Oh, I walked to the jungle. How interesting. I can't climb that wall. It's a thick vine that got stuck on that branch. I can't reach it. 
That won't get that vine down. This won't get the vine down either? Alright, let me just look at the walkthrough. Hello, you bitch. Dr. Ashcroft. Yes, Miss Montrose. Some wall. Yes, I walked along it as far as I could, but the dense foliage makes it very difficult. I don't think there's any way we can get through. Can someone climb it? I don't think so. I'll ask Caro later. I think we'll have to detonate. Why would we do that? Well, that's strange, coming from you. Yesterday you blew up a whole dam. Suddenly you have concerns. You enjoyed it, admit it. Professor Harbuck was right. I should have consulted him first. Look, miss, let's not beat around the bush. We both know the professor is a great scholar, but not a great man. It takes a man to get to where I want to go. And where I want to go is over that wall. Now one can ponder how invaluable this wall is, or one can realize that demolishing a section of it won't make any real difference. Not to you, not to me, not even to the good professor. The answers we're looking for are on the other side. I don't know. We all want the same thing, but for different reasons. We want to find the city. I'm certain we're near. I can feel it. And what are your reasons, Dr. Ashcroft? If the city really exists, and from the looks of it, it does, it'll be the archaeological find of the century. But what do you hope to find there? Knowledge! Just like you. The only difference between us is that I'll be able to use that knowledge. I don't understand. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to help me blow up the wall. That's what's going to get us forward. Think about it! I'll see. Fort Twig! So the walkthrough says now I go to camp and I talk to some people and I pick up some stuff. Do I talk to this guy too? Harbach and Burke. I'm gonna talk to him. Mr. Caro? Yes? How's Mr. Burke? Still the same. I thought about driving him to Shansunu. Oh my god, I still can't. <laughs> That's still. I don't know what it is about the. Maybe the length of the word? I just keep. Man! I'm trying to sight read and I'm not doing very well. I thought about driving him to Shansunu to the hospital, but he's very weak. After I fix the car, I think I'll risk the trip anyway. There's nothing I can do for him here. Can I help? Not unless you figure out what's wrong with him and find a cure. Or maybe some local medicine could help. But as I said, there's no one here but us. Actually, that might not be true. How come? Yesterday, I found some graves that were made by the natives, the Shades. Until now, I believe that Dunmore's poems were a fairy tale, but yesterday we uncovered proof that he actually was here. He wrote extensively about the Shades. The graves proved their existence. What if they're still around? I didn't want to bring this up. I thought it might scare you. But now I see that I shouldn't worry about that. Sometimes I hear things from the jungle. Now, I've spent a lot of time in the jungle, and I know the noises it makes, but I've never heard anything like this before. I can't really describe it. It's like I'm hearing it, and I'm not at the same time. How can that be? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Where did you find those graves, anyway? Towards the west. That's where Burke was stung by that thing. Maybe you should look around there. I'll try to fix the car in the meantime. All right. Oh, and one more thing. We might need some explosives. I've seen that crate over there, and... For what? Well, Dr. Ashcroft might want to use them to get into the city. I found a high wall yesterday. I see. Well, I'd love to help, but the crate has a combination lock, and only Burke knows the combination. If you manage to get him well before I ship him out to Shensunu, he might tell you the code. I still pa- I said it right, but I paused afterwards. Thank you. I'll see you around. Have a nice day! Talk to Harbog and Burke. How the hell can I talk to Burke? I thought he was still sleeping. Did I not do something I was supposed to do? Oh yeah, here it is. Mr. Caro has brought my luggage from the airstrip. I took a pair of stockings, a lighter, and some boot polish from it. 
so now I can wade in the water. Follow the stream into the jungle. Because now I've got stockings and stuff on. Ooh, a reed. The reed is long and straight. I'll need something to chop it off with. An axe, perhaps? Got a couple of nice clean pieces of reed. Talk to Har- I was supposed to talk to Harbok. I don't know where he is. Maybe I should go back and talk to him first. Mr. Harbok, are you here at the camp, my son? I don't see him here either. Where am I supposed to be? Where is that man? It says I need to talk to him. Not you, fat head. All right, well, he's like gone somewhere or something. So I guess I will just continue with the walkthrough as stated. Bloop, 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 bloop. Can I go in here? Bloop, bloop, bloop. No, I can't. Butterflies. A bunch of blue butterflies. They move pretty fast, but they look happy. Can I catch them with a drumstick? That won't help me catch the butterflies. Maybe the flower? You know, because butterflies are drawn to flowers. It looks like a parrot. It has bright red feathers. Alright, there's a lot of stuff going on. Fork twig and stockings makes a butterfly net. I managed to catch one of the butterflies. Okay, so I use... That on that. And I have arrows without fletching, and I use this on this. And now I have plain arrows. And then I use this on this to make a actual crossbow. And then arrows on the crossbow, right? Well, you do kind of want to stick the arrows into it. Sorry. I took one red tail feather. The drum seems to be in pretty good condition, as if someone were looking after it. I tried to hit it with my fist, but the sound it made was pretty weak. Oh, there's a person. Whoa. After I'd beaten the drum, I think I saw someone in the jungle for just a second. But they disappeared. Maybe they're afraid of me. Ceremonial spear on statue hand. The statue is all dressed up. I need to be with the drum with a drumstick. Okay, that is creepy. A why is that important? A man just appeared from behind that tree. Um, hello there. Come. Uh, okay. How is that wild? He's just saying come over here. He says come again. This is impossible. I think he's saying come. It's not impossible. If you guys are hanging out around here all the time, it makes sense I could pick up your language. It'll, you know, I mean... I'm always weird about stories that have, like, uncontacted tribes or natives or whatever in them, because sometimes they're not handled well, <laughs> so hopefully this won't be, like, weird and offensive or anything. Uh, hi. Hi. Well, that went well. Hello. Speaking a different language. Um, sorry, I don't understand. The prophet's tongue! Oh, so well, some random white man came over here and became a prophet? Ugh. You speak the prophet's tongue. And you speak English. Do I? Wait, what do you mean the prophet's tongue? The prophet, Dan Moore. Dunmore? Uh, did you say Dunmore? Yes. Who are you? My name is Heather. I am Mazoom. Hi there. So, how come you speak English? The prophet Dan Moore taught us. That's impossible. He lived more than a hundred years ago. He taught my father's father. And my father taught me. Amazing. Who are you people? We are the Shades. Children of Mordegon. So, 
Dunmore was here and he taught you people English. Yes. Okay. I know we just met, but could you tell me the whole story? What story? Is this him saying that or her? The one about Dunmore, the prophet. He came many moons after we left the city. He brought back the ancient world of Mordegon. And who's this Mordegon character? The spirit of the earth. He helped us, but not anymore. We abandoned him after the last shaman who spoke the word of Mordegon has betrayed us. And what is this city you mentioned? The old city where my ancestors lived, where Mordegon lives. So his spirit lives in the city, under the city. And what does he do there? He shows the way for those who are worthy. So Dunmore came from the city and he brought the word of the spirit that shows the way. Yes. Can you tell me where the city is? Turn your back to the sun when it is highest on the sky. You wish to go to the city? Yes, that's why we're here. You wish to see Mordegon? Well, I don't know. Do I? Only the strong may see him. I understand. Actually, I don't, but thanks anyway. So, what's wrong with your friend over there? He has been stung by the Gerard's plant, but I have made medicine. He will be healed. Can you tell me what's in the medicine? The root of the Fahir flower, the mouth of the Hushevo plants, and honey. Um, okay. Thanks. I only understood honey. Maybe Caro knows the rest. Well, thank you for everything. I'll let you get back to your business. Yes. Well, bye. A buzzing beehive. I'm not going near. I might get angry. He looks bad. There's a big red spot on his right arm. Something must have bit him. Is there anything else I'm supposed to do here? Talk to Shaman, pick up bowl, what bowl? Where's a bowl? I didn't see a bowl. All oh, right here. Ew, it smells of rotten meat. Oh, but I picked it up. The ditch is now full of water. I think after I blew up the dam, the water from the river got redirected here. I don't want to poke around unless I- what do I do? What do I do? It says... Look at thick shrubbery, a carnivorous plant is revealed. Well, girl, I'm looking at it. I don't want to bother him unless I have a reason. You do! You just said maybe Kara will know about the blah, 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 blah. I don't know. What? Talk to the shaman. I did that. Alright, I picked up a bunch of stuff. What do you mean? I don't know why I didn't actually read what was about this. Is this yours? Yep, I was poking around in the bushes when I grabbed some plant and it stank up my hand. I tried to wipe it down with my handkerchief, but the only thing I managed to achieve was to make the cloth smelly too. So I washed it and hung it out to dry. What kind of plant? It looked like some carnivorous plant. Oh, and as long as we're talking about plants, do you know what a fair plant or a hoosh... Who she, uh, something plant is? The fahair has a white flower and it's got a bulby root, just like onion or garlic. And the other one is the carnivorous plant I grabbed accidentally. Where did that happen? Near the old houses, and by that deep ditch. Listen, I'd love to chat, but Ashcroft has been bugging me about detonating that wall you found. So I'm gonna go ahead and carry all the equipment I can to the ramparts. I'm still not sure that blowing up the wall is a good idea. It's not my call. They pay me, so I do what they tell me. Sorry, but that's how it works. Sure, no problem. After the equipment is there, I hope I'll be able to fix up- After the equipment is there, I hope I'll finally be able to fix up the car. 
That genius Ashcroft doesn't seem to get that in order to detonate, we need the combination of that crate. And for that, we need Burke awake. And unless there's a miracle, that will only happen at the hospital. I met some of the locals. They told me about a medicine that heals such injuries. Then go ahead and prepare it. If your concoction works, you might spare me a trip to Shensunu. Oh, I still can't say it right. Listen, I really gotta go. Sure, see you. Shansunu, man. You always mess me up, man. Alright, now I look at the thick shrubbery and I get the carnivorous plant. Ugh, there's that carnivorous plant Caro mentioned. Oh, it stinks. Can I feed it to the damn thing? Use butterfly on carnivorous plant. Here she comes. Look at her. Watch her walk towards you. There she goes. Cover girl. Put <laughs> that. Okay. Can we? Can we do this now? Ugh, the stink is unbearable. I'm not going near that thing. I fed it the butterfly. It doesn't stink that much now. It's still stinky, but I think I'll manage. I already got a petal, so I have that. Combine the handkerchief with the arrows, they say. Now I have a flammable arrow. Combine flammable arrows with a uh, lighter. I've lit the flammable arrow. I'd better use it quick. That's not the way to get rid of the bee. What do you mean? That's what they said in the fucking... That's what they said. I shot the flaming arrow into the hole. The smoke drove the bees away. There was a honeycomb inside. I've taken all the honey I need. Okay, so now I need to do probably all these ingredients into the bowl. Almost done healing potion. And then the next thing was that white flower. Healing potion. All right, now I presume I go back to camp. Let me just double check. Camp, use the healing potion on Bert. He'll tell you the detonation. He'll tell you the combination. Pick up some of dynamite and get fused from the explosive crate. Burke, come here. I'm gonna feed him this. Let's hope it works. I think he's coming around. I hope this stuff works fast. Mr. Burke. Ugh. Mr. Burke, how are you feeling? What? Who are you? My name is Heather Montrose. I'm here at the request of Professor Harback. How are you feeling? My head hurts. Where am I? At your camp. Mr. Caro brought you here after that plant stung you. I've given you some medicine. The professor mentioned that a lady from England is going to be coming to visit us. Are you a doctor? Well, technically, yes, but not the medical kind. Then how... I made the potion using a local recipe. You're going to get better soon. Listen. I know you just regained consciousness, but I need your help. I'm here to help the professor with the dig, and we need to know the combination of the crate that contains the dynamite. Ugh, this tastes horrible. What? Uh, the potion. Uh, sorry about that. Now, Mr. Burke, the combination. I don't think I should. You're not an expert, and I'm afraid that- Yes, yes, you're right, but we really need those explosives. Mr. Caro has already set up the equipment at the ramparts. All we need is a dynamite. Alright, it's uh, 751239. But be careful with the explosives. Do you know how to handle them? I'll manage. Reassuring? I'll be fine. And so will you, after some rest. I have to go now, but I'll let Mr. Caro know that you're okay. Thank you. See you later. Was I supposed to write that down? I still- I don't agree with blowing up the place. You can't just climb the fucking wall? Surely it's not that hard. I took some dynamite and a length of fuse. Alright. 
I'm gonna put on my clown shoes and go do this. I still don't think we should be doing this. I just don't think it's proper. Why are we digging around here, blowing stuff up? Like the premise is something that I don't like the premise of. <laughs> okay, I took a short break, so if the audio sounds different, that's why. I only have 30 minutes until my roommates, well, my first roommate will come home. So I've kind of got to hurry. I'm still using the walkthrough extensively so that I can just kind of rush through everything. Because again, it's just, it's about, uh, it's about going through the game, not necessarily doing it all myself, but just showcasing the game for when Flash dies. Talk to Ashcroft. What's up, you little bitch? Dr. Ashcroft, I thought you might be interested. I met some of the locals. Amazing! What can you tell me? Well, I spoke to the shaman and... What do you mean, spoke to him? They speak English. They call themselves the Shades. The same Shades that Dunmore mentions in his writings? Yes. In fact, they had met him. The shaman told me that he was a prophet and that he brought back to them the words of Mordigan. Uh, they said he's a... I know who he is. Uh, so he's really been there. But how can you know? I've just... Wait, been where? Thank you for the news, Miss Montrose. You can't just dismiss me like that. You owe me an explanation. No, I don't. <laughs> but I'm going to provide one anyway. Everyone interprets Dunmore's poetry in different ways. You look for poetic value? Harbach has decided about the archaeological... You look for poetic value. Harbach is excited about the archaeological implications. But I'm the one who considers the spiritual aspect of them. You don't see what they really mean, because it's not your eyes you have to look with. I see patterns you do not, and I seek a different kind of knowledge from yours. A kind that you would be unprepared to comprehend should the occasion arise. The kind that Dunmore unwillingly obtained while living in the city. <laughs> I don't know why I said the sea that way. Obtained from Mordigan. But who is... Enough! We don't have time for this. You expect me to believe all this? No, I expect you to blow up this wall. We'll see what the professor has to say about that. Please! Well, I hope you're still here when I do light the fuse. If I light it. Good day, Miss Montrose. Now what the fuck? What's oh, supposed to be doing? I need to come out. Mind the clothes on the arrows. Use the clothes on the Okay. Crossbow. No, 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 no. Clothesline with the arrows. Nice shot. The clothesline is now dangling from the vine. Do I just pull it or what? Pull the clothesline. The vine falls down. The end of the vine has fallen down. Now what? Um. So I put like dynamite there or something. Crack rigged with dynamite. I have placed sticks of dynamite into the cranny. Oh, I can just walk over to this now? I don't think this is a good idea. This is the fuse. I still don't think we should be blowing this up. Dare I say so? I don't think this is a good idea. I mean, why blow up the place? Should I really do this first? What if I leave it alone like this and this guy blows the stuff up? Can I talk to Harbach first? Professor, I'm glad you're back. I have important news. Yes? I found the natives. Where? Further to the west, along the river. They hide pretty well. In fact, they call themselves the Shades. That's extraordinary! Dunmore mentioned ghost people he called Shades, so they are real. Wait, there's more. They speak English. Well, at least their shaman does. How is that possible? Well, according to him, Dunmore taught them. He said Dunmore came from the city and he brought the word of the spirit that shows the way. 
Then I guess he stayed with them long enough for him to teach them English, that they think he was a prophet. I see. Do you? Because I don't. Well, we know that we can take Dunmore's poems a lot more literally than we previously thought we could, and from that we can deduce what had happened. Give me a moment to think. Hmm, he must have... Then he... All right, here's what I think happened. Dunmore arrived from the north. We know that because he mentions a city that still exists today, about a hundred miles to the north of here. So he came from the north and he found the city of Heatherdale, maybe by accident, and set up camp near the temple. He spent some time there and he had hallucinations. We know that from the poems too. Then something happened to him. We know that from his poem at Rope's End. And after that, he somehow ended up at the village of these shades. And for some reason, they thought he was a prophet. It must have had to do with what happened to him at the temple. From his writings, it seems like he simply went mad. But in many primitive cultures, madness is considered a gift. Often the insane are revered like sacred people. Primitive cultures. Ugh. <laughs> primitive culture. Anyway, so maybe that's why they called him a prophet. I'm impressed, Professor. Thank you, dear. Mind you, this is all speculation. Nevertheless, I think I'll go and see them right away. Could you direct me to them? Well, you'll have to climb a wall. The one you put chisels in? Yes. That won't be a problem. All right, you climb that wall and keep west. At the dam, follow the stream to the north. At the pond, turn west, then keep straight to the west, and the village is on a clearing about two miles from the pond. Thank you. One more thing. It looks like Mr. Ashcroft has made up his mind about blowing up the ramparts. What do you think we should do? Well, after all you've told me, I admit I agree with him. We need to get into the city. I have to find out what happened to Dunmore at the temple. Well, okay. Thanks for your time. See you later, dear. Can I talk to Caro? I can't talk to Caro! Alright, I guess I'll just fucking... diddly doo -dah it. Now everything's all good. That was loud. Okay, climb across the rubble, I suppose. Can I examine anything else? Oop! Oh. I wanted to examine the statues first! I didn't know I wouldn't get a chance! I mean, I have to walk through, but I didn't read that part yet. It's Montrose! Miss Montrose, uh, can you hear me? Ugh. Are you alright? Yes. My back. She's okay! Oh, jolly! I'm so glad we found you. We were worried after you didn't show up at the camp last night. <laughs> I don't know why I messed up that sentence. We started looking for you first thing in the morning. I'm alright. There was a pond down here. It broke my fall. That's why I'm still alive, I think. I'll go get a rope. That is a good idea, Mr. Caro. In the meantime, I'll explore the temple with Professor Harback. Nicely done, Miss Montrose. And I'm going to see if there's a way out of here. Be careful, dear! Don't worry, I'll be fine. It's a candle stand. This is pretty much all I can see in this room. The rest is pitch black. Can you lighter it? Can I put the boot polish on the stand and then light it? I mean, it must be flammable, right? Well, what then? What? What? They always come and talk to you? Combine beeswax with fuse? Alright, that's fine. Okay. I've got a candle. Really? You made a candle that looks like that out of beeswax and fuse? Candle burning. That's better. <laughs> It's wrapped in cloth. It has a brownish color. Okay, I got a bowl of embalming salt. 
middle tombstone. It looks like it's a tombstone. Right tombstone. It looks like a tombstone. It's not a perfect fit. There's a crack between the stone and the wall. It's another tombstone. Right ring, middle ring, left ring. Alright, I'm just gonna look this up. It's a picture of a dragon's head. There's a small recess underneath it. It's a picture of a worm. There's a recess underneath it. Recess. Picture of a fish. There's a recess underneath it. The re this recess is beneath the upper three. There's a small hole in the roof of it. Looks like it's supposed to collect whatever comes out from the top. Here's a chine. It's a pond. There's a porticulus on the far side. It looks like it has an underground connection with another room. Well, I want to see the porticulus. Pitcher full of embalming oil. I don't know why I got all that stuff. Might be a good idea, but I'm not opening any of the tombs without a reason. I'll fucking no, because you... Because you need to? The candle is burning steadily. Wait, the flame is tilting towards those tombstones. Is that enough of a reason for you, Heather? Use lighter on right tombstone, okay? I need to look at it. The flame is tilting towards the crack between the wall and this tombstone. I've checked the airflow around this tombstone. The flame of the lighter was tilting towards the crack between the wall and this stone. Okay, so can I open it now? I've tied the chain to the ring. The tomb is open. I'm not going in there without a light. I can't see a thing. Wow, it's not a tomb. It's actually a hidden passage. Here I am. Back out in the world again. These statues are guarding the... Wait, why are they looking towards the temple? These kind of statues are usually placed in front of a building to guard it from whatever wants to get in. These seem to be keeping something from getting out. Firewood, I see. Remains of camp. I found a quill and an old piece of paper. Anything else around here? Statues? Door. Door. Door! We got a door alert! There's a crack on the door, but it's too small. I can't see a thing. I need to widen it. Firewood. Look at the abandoned camp. Examine the page from Dunmore's journal. I didn't do that. It's a handwritten page. I think Dunmore wrote this. It's been torn from a book. It's all blurry, but I can make out two passages. The first one is... The temple, follow the path of death to find knowledge. And the other, so I've buried them at the foot of the pillar. Search under rubble. There was a small clay bottle and a book under the rubble. Can I lurk at the bork? Don't fall in there. Don't you dare. Don't go over there. I wasn't asking you to go over there. Dunmore's Journal, 13th of August, 1825. I have found a wall. It stretches in an east-west direction. There's a part where it's destroyed and I managed to climb inside. There's a whole city in here. I've set up camp near a building that seems to be a temple. I shall investigate tomorrow. 14th of August, 1825. I've walked around the ruined city extensively. It is totally abandoned. I've encountered several depictions of a warrior figure. I will venture into the temple tomorrow. 15th of August, 1828. I have found a room full of corpses. It looked like an embalming room. There was a bowl of dark fluid near one of the mummies. I think it must have been some sort of embalming fluid. I've also found a small clay bottle. Out of curiosity, I've mixed it with the contents of the embalming fluid. It has turned into a very strong acid. After I poured it onto a piece of wood, it has eaten it completely. 17th of August, 1828. There are five archways in the temple. I've taken a torch and explored them thoroughly. Oh my gosh. Oh, that scared me. I got a text. That means my roommate probably might come home soon and then I will have to stop the recording without finishing it. Ha 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 ha. 17th of August, 1828. There are five archways in the temple. I've taken a torch and explored them thoroughly. One of them has taken me to a deep chasm where, I'm terrified to write this, I have seen my lady cannot explain. 
There was something radiating from that deep shaft. It must have been a hallucination. Nevertheless, I felt strangely drawn to the place. 3rd of September, 1828. The guilt is eating me. My love is dead, yet she is here, talking to me. I know that I will never love anybody else. November? November. Just blank, 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 November, 1828. I cannot take this anymore. I see her all the time. I see other things too. Things that have not happened yet. Faraway places and people. A sorcerer is talking to me. I can't understand what he's saying. I fear that the end is near. I will put an end to this. I will go down to the chasm and spill my blood there. And that's it! Oh my god! Firewood and a dragon symbol. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, folks! We don't have much time! I pulled the salt from the bowl into the recess. The bowl is now empty. I managed to light the wood on fire. It's burning nicely. Um, use empty pitcher on pond. The pitcher is now full of water. Put the pitcher inside the fish recess. I push the button with the figure. It produced some sort of liquid which is now in the bowl underneath the symbol. Bowl full of brown liquid. I've taken out the bowl. It's full of some kind of liquid? Right, it's the same colour as the cloth on their mummy over there. Maybe they use this stuff on their dead. Alright, 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 alright. Hey, get me out of here! Get me out of here! For this door. I'll use the axe on the door. I've widened the crack with the axe. Unfortunately, the axe broke in the process. Combine small clay bottle with bowl of brown liquid. You have acid. Okay. Move it, bing bong. What? Oh my god. The professor. Wait, what? What happened? Wait, wait, what? I'm skipping things. What? Harbach says, uh, help. What happened? Ash. Ashcroft. Help. I've got to help him. He's going to die if I don't. What are you fucking talking about? Where is he? I was just trying to click this. Oh, I could see him through the door. I made a hole in the door with the axe. I can see the professor in the temple. He needs my help. There's a heavy beam blocking the door from the inside. Man, I was just trying to figure out this this clay bottle stuff. I didn't even know dialogue was going by. Hole on door wing. The acid has eaten through the beam. I managed to open the door. Enter the temple. Right. Well, I gotta talk to him. Professor, what happened? Ashcroft. <laughs> Ashcroft attacked me. I was examining the tombs when he grabbed me from behind. Then he tied me down and, and cut my wrists. My god. I'll go get Mr. Caro. It's too late. I've lost too much blood. Listen. You have to stop him. He's mad. After he tied me down, he went on about how my sacrifice will make him all-knowing and powerful. I... I knew he was a bad person, but I never suspected he's evil. Professor, spare your strength. No! I have to tell you everything I know so you can stop him. Listen. After Ashcroft tied me down, he disappeared for a while. When he came back, after I bled helplessly, he talked to me. And when I tried to respond, he knew what I was going to say. He spoke to me about my childhood, about events that only I know about. And I saw the shades. I saw the shaman. He, he was there. He just stood there and looked at me. He disappeared. And then, then I saw... Dunmore. Professor, you've lost a lot of blood. You're imagining things. No, this is real. There's something down there. I know that now. And Ashcroft is somehow using it. After I'm gone, you'll have very little time. You have to find him and stop him. Stop him, you hear me? Yes, but first, I'll get you out of here. Too late. Professor Harbach. 
Professor. He's dead. So, um, the- this thing. <laughs> Towel on all the passageways. Okay. It must be a maze. I'm not going in there without directions. Besides, I can hear strange voices from inside. This whole place is making me dizzy. What the hell? What is this? Oh, okay, here. I remove the dust with a towel, it's a picture of a palm tree. I remove the dust with a towel, it's a picture of a river, I think. It's a picture of the sun. It's a wall painting, but I can't make out what it is. I remove the dust with a towel, it's a picture of a skull there. Wait, let me check that page once more from Dunmore's journal. The temple follow the path of death to find knowledge. I don't think this is a coincidence. Let's just see what the other one is. It's a fat little animal. A fat little animal. That's my cat. This is blood. A blood drain. It's full of the professor's blood. There's a drain at the head of the altar. It's funneling the blood downwards. Um. Oh. What the fuck is this? The Necronomicon? My god, here? At this time of year, in this type of temple? It's a piece of paper that got stuck on that root. I can't reach it. Girl. Well, I'm not gonna go past the fucking ghost. Give me a minute. Oh my god. Speaking native? I think it's warning me not to go closer. Pomb. It's a tomb. Blurred symbol. It looks like a pentagram drawn with charcoal, but it's blurred. There are also footprints. I think someone had drawn this here, then walked over it a few times. It must have been Ashcroft. Is it possible that he was the one who summoned that guardian ghost? I don't bitch know. Use the steel, road, uh, steel rod on the page in the river. It floats away. Well, I don't want to use it then. Drat. The paper drifted away in the stream. I need to examine the Necronomicon now. Let me examine it! Let me look at it! Can I give it to him? The page that has the right spell has been torn from the book. I managed to loosen a few bricks. There's a corpse inside. It's covered with a shroud. I took the shroud! I don't need anything else from the tomb. I'm just trying to do this fast. Quill. Blood drain. Please. I filled the quill with blood. Combine blood filled quill with shroud, you get a magic shroud. What? I've written the spell in blood onto the shroud. What spell? You couldn't even find the fucking spell. Pick up torch. I have the torch, right? Do I need to light it or. Alright. Embalming room. Pick up torn page. Embalming room. Embal hurry up, hurry up, let's go! How do you not know Ashcroft was evil? If a bitch is a Nazi, then like... I mean... <laughs> that's a pretty good sign they're evil. There's a pond. There's a particulars on the far side. Well, what are you talking about? Use torch on blurred symbol. Alright, we gotta get out of here. We gotta go back to the crypt. Oh, wait, can I? Yeah, no map. Just got to go. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's hurry. I've got, I've got roommates potentially coming home soon. Uh, let's go to the passageway to the crypt. Hello, everybody. Okay, torch on blurred symbol. I've restored the pentagram with the charred end of the torch. Magic shroud on newly drawn symbol. I've covered the pentagram with the shroud. That's bizarre. Into torn page on guardian, it goes away. The ghost disappeared. Enter dark passageway. Is that this? Miss Montrose! Welcome! What have you done, you murderer? What I had to do. You killed the professor. He was a necessary sacrifice I had to make. But why? I expect it will be like waking up after a long dream. 
like coming up for a breath of air after being underwater. Except I was born asleep. Born underwater. What are you talking about? Blood is the symbol of life, Miss Montrose. You should know that. This place takes away life, but for those who are prepared and strong in the mind, in return it provides wisdom, foresight, a widened awareness of the universe. That's why you killed Harbach? I didn't kill him. I merely made a few cards. It's his fault that he bled to death. But I am going to kill you. And I'm going to give your blood to Mordigan after you have died. You are crazy. Maybe. I have a crossbow. I'll use it if I have to. I'm guessing your blood will be as good a sacrifice as anyone's. Don't even think about it. You have no idea how to handle the power emanating from this place. If you kill me, you might die too, you know. I don't believe you. I can feel that there's something about this place, but... Why do you think Dunmore went insane? He wasn't strong enough, and neither are you. If you kill me, you will suffer his fate. Okay, my roommate is home, but I'm at the very end of the game, so I'm just going to whisper. Um, I think I got through this sentence, I don't remember. Anyway, it's too late now. It has begun. It's either you or me. Then crossbow the bitch. That won't get rid of him. What do you mean it won't get rid of him? I said don't move. Actually, he never said don't move. <laughs> What do I do? I'm gonna look at the wall through. So I just throw any item. It's a small pile of rocks. I think I can reach them with my foot without Ashcroft noticing. The rock made a loud noise as it fell down. It distracted Ashcroft for a moment. Oh fuck, wait. So I need to do... Pick up a rock while all he does use the torch on the wall. Gasp. You're supposed to shoot him. Good. Oh, because all of his weird magical energy is going to her or something. 72 hours later in England. She ended up in an insane asylum to be continued. I don't think there's a part two. Oh, look at their website. The last thing they were active on seems like 2016. Oh, I don't want to click here. Whoops. Heatherdale. Alright, so there's only one Heatherdale game, which means I've reached the end, finally. Sorry for having to whisper near the end. I know that's kind of strange. <laughs> I hope it doesn't. I've I spoke in a previous video about the fact that I hate ASMR and that it's upsetting to me. <laughs> I hate mouth sounds. I hate the sounds of people whispering. When I go back and edit this, it's going to make me extremely angry. I don't think I exactly have misophonia, but I certainly have some sort of aversion to... <laughs> any sort of ASMR type. I, I just hate it so much. I hate chewing noises too, but I also hate whispering, so I'm trying to get this into the video over as soon as possible. Uh, there's another Flash game. Goodbye. Can't wait to stop whispering. Hate this.